So here at the uh, Yatla Labour Prison to uh, launch a new program um, which is focused on well-being and resilience uh, designed to um, help prisoners who are uh, getting ready to transition back into, into society um, just to overcome some of those challenges that invariably they're going to face um, as they sort of try to re-engineer their life back in, in the general public. The players will be working with some of the members of staff um, to deliver messages about resilience um, and trying to help the integration of inmates back into the community once they've uh, finished serving their time. Nathan Cracker actually um, came out and visited the prison uh, last year and he said the, exactly the same thing as it, it, it's very easy to put prison offenders, you know, criminal people in one box. The reality is that every person is an individual and everyone has a story, you know, a, fa you know, a, a difficult family upbringing, um, mental health issues, unlucky, um, whatever it is, uh, not, not all of them are in that category but a lot are. And he said that through his process of just um, talking and sharing stories, there were a lot of aspects that were you know, relatable and valuable to him. And, and I think our young players will get a lot out of it. Yeah, that's it. Any reduction in um, re-offending uh, is going to be a benefit to everyone in society, you know. Um, and at the same time, uh, everyone deserves a chance and a second chance. So there's no reason why these people um, shouldn't have skills for um, after prison developed so that they have the best chance of succeeding once they leave. Um, helping them find ways, find strategies, find techniques to just stay the course. Um, and um, and if, if they can, well then our community is safer uh, and better for it, I think.